this is Tony Langens. I'm a registered dietitian, a certified specialist in sports dietetics, and I'm the director of sports nutrition at Oregon State University. I'm here with Figured Out Baseball today to talk to you about perceived exertion, so how hard training was, and how you should build your plate appropriately. If you haven't watched the first video about what each food group does for you, your performance and your health, I'd go back and watch that one now. So what is perceived exertion? Perceived exertion is how hard training was. And so this is gonna play into a lot of different factors. Did you sleep well last night? Are you stressed? Have you been eating appropriately? But mostly it's just how hard training was. So if you think about how hard the training was today, you'll have between a zero and a 10. And so if training was between a zero and a three, you're gonna go with a light training plate. Now, why does this change? You actually are going to burn a different amount of your body fuel based off of how hard training was. So if you had a zero to a three, your day was light. Maybe it's a rest day, maybe it's kind of a rollout. You'll need to change your plate appropriately. So this is an easy training day. So if you had a light training day, you're gonna have about half of your plate, fruits and vegetables, a quarter whole grains, and a quarter lean protein. Now your snacks are gonna be more like your healthy fats, so avocados, cooking in oil, uh, maybe some hummus, and then dairy or dairy substitute for bone health. And so that's gonna be a light training day. If you have a moderate training day, this is going to be between four and seven. So you got done with your training and you said, that was at about 70% of my max. That would be a moderate training plate. With your moderate training plate, it's going to look like this. So if you can see that the grains changed, um, as well as the protein and the vegetables. So if it's more moderate than light, you're going to be burning more of those carbs. You also damage your muscles a little bit more. So you need to make sure you're build, rebuilding those with lean protein. Now you still need those micronutrients, so you can't skip out on that. Um, and then make sure your snacks are fruit, dairy, dairy substitute, or maybe some healthy fats. The last one, is gonna be a hard training plate. So an eight to a 10. So if you got done with training and you said that was my max effort, uh, maybe you had a really hard training day or a two a day, um, or you lifted as well as trained, you're gonna be between an eight and a 10. Maybe this is if you have a double header, something like that. Uh, so this is gonna be your hard training plate. Now you burned more of those glycogen stores, so you need to make sure that you're replenishing these with whole grains. And again, watch that first video for more examples of whole grains um, versus the simple carbs. Lean protein and vegetables are still both important, but this is what your body's using for fuel during those hard training days. So we need to make sure to replenish this so that you are less sore the next day, you can get more out of tomorrow's practice, and you are revitalizing and re-energizing those muscles appropriately. So again, not every single day is going to be the same portions on your plate. As a good athlete, you need to make sure that you are changing what your plate looks like based off of how hard your training was that day. Again, this is Tony Langens with Figure It Out Baseball. Thanks for watching today's video, and I hope to see you next time.